Does Curly Girls Candy increase my glucose? Let's find out. Hey, what's up family? My name is Joe and I am one half of Two Crazy Ketos. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos, we do product reviews, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. Now you can find us on all kinds of social media like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and we have a website which is twocrazyketos.com. That's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to hit that little bell button so that you are notified every time we upload a new video. So we recently received these Curly Girl Candy Peanut Brittle in our keto box, and uh, we've tried this before. I tried it a long, long time ago, probably over a year, and there's always been an ingredient in here that concerns me. So the number two ingredient on this is prebiotic fiber syrup. Uh, which is sometimes another name for isomaltal oligosaccharides or IMO fiber. And IMO fiber uh, generally does increase your glucose. It's also partially digested, like up to 50%. So it is something that I like to completely avoid. Uh, so a little bit about this on the back here, it says Curly Girls Candy has a new standard for health conscious consumers, allowing our community of customers to enjoy a delicious indulgence without the guilt. Our sugar-free candy line is made with plant-based alternative sweeteners that are maltitol free So you can stay focused on your health goals while still satisfying your sweet tooth cravings. Welcome to the Girly Girls Candy. And on the, fa on the front, it does say 100% indulgent and 0% guilt. So a serving of this is one ounce. We're gonna eat an entire serving. It's 120 calories, 12 grams of fat, one gram of protein, 10 total carbs, five grams of dietary fiber, and then uh, three grams of Tiger Toast and one gram of sugar alcohol. So we're gonna go ahead, before we have this, do a blood glucose test. Now I'm not wearing a CGM, so we're just gonna do the old fashioned blood glucose test. Some alcohol here. Dry it off. So it is currently 7.50 in the morning. Can't use my phone to show you because it's right there. Here we go. Okay, so my starting glucose is 80 and it is 7.50 in the morning. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and eat this. I've already got to divide it up. This is one serving. So I'll show you that there. Now, one thing about this is that we noticed when we did the review of it in the keto box, it's sticky. I'm used to peanut brittle being um, a hard candy. Like when I was a kid, we used to get it and you would like suck on it, but this is very sticky. It's kind of like a taffy almost. It's gonna take me a while to eat this. It's very chewy. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna finish this. Right here is what time I finished it. We'll mark it. We're gonna come back in 30 minutes, check my glucose, then we'll check it after an hour and then possibly after two hours, depending on what the results of the 30 minute and the one hour check are. Not quite sure about this one. It's 8.30. We finished the Curly Girls candy at eight o'clock. So we're 30 minutes after eating the entire serving. We're gonna go ahead and check our glucose. I uh, am not expecting much out of this. I'm honestly expecting it to be pretty elevated. Um, to me, anything more than like 10 to 15 points is 
Could it be something like, yeah, I don't think so. Here we go. <laughs> As I expected, glucose is 110. So that is a 30 point bump in just 30 minutes. Um, this product would be a no, but we are gonna come back in one hour and check again. Okay, it's nine o'clock, so it's one hour after eating the Curly Girls Candy Peanut Brittle. I'm gonna put a little reminder right up here of what our initial readings were. We started off with an 80, then we had a 30 point bump. Let's check now at the one hour mark. There we go. One hundred and three. So we are still twenty three points higher than where we started in eighty. So we're gonna come back at the two hour mark and see where we're at. By then we should be much lower. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. Okay, ten o'clock. Two hours after eating the Curly Girls candy, time for the final blood check. We're going to put right up here what the previous readings were. Started off at 80. So if everything is right, generally at the two hour mark, your blood sugar should be back down to normal if everything is going well. So we should be around 80. But remember, we did have that 30 point jump after just 30 minutes. Okay. 85. So pretty much back down to normal 85. That's within the margin of error of, you know, the machines. So I would say at two, two hour mark, I'm back to, down to normal. But like I said, we did have that 30 point jump, like after just 30 minutes. And even after an hour, we were still pretty elevated. Uh, so my personal thing, I will not be eating these anymore. Uh, I, I just, I don't like having my blood sugar go up that much. I mean, now again, the results that I have may be different than your results. So I would definitely check yourself. Maybe your glucose doesn't go up. Generally with me though, a lot of things don't affect me. I mean, I've been on keto for, you know, three years now. And there are a lot of products that don't affect me at all, but they affect Rachel or they affect other people. So I would definitely check yourself with this and any other product that you're gonna consume, especially if there is a questionable ingredient, something like prebiotic fiber syrup. Now, I don't know that they're using IMO fiber, but I don't like the name just prebiotic fiber syrup. That's generally what that is. And after seeing the blood sugar tests, I would kind of lean more towards that. But again, it's up to you guys to make the decision of what you want to eat. But for me, I personally won't be eating these. So that is going to be our video for today. Let me know down in the comment section if you've ever had the Curly Girls candy, if you've done a glucose test and what your results were. Also, let us know what other products you would like us to do glucose tests on. So thanks for watching the video. Please do us a favor, hit that like button down below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and make sure you hit that bell button so that you are notified every time we upload a new video. Until next time, bye.